What's up guys, it's Hadaid7 in RCT, and today I bring you my number three in the series of unfiltered videos where I try to basically, without a script, talk to you guys about the happenings in the video game industry in general. Um, today is a special topic for me. I, I know I've been out of the loop as of late. For that, I, I gotta say I'm sorry. Uh, ahead of time, I apologize for that, for the lack of activity. Uh, there are certain things that I wanna get out of the way before getting into the topic really quick. Um, a few are, uh, a few shout outs, and the other is concerning basically the reason why I haven't been uh, active as of late. As you guys know, those who know own me very well for quite some time, uh, my current job right now does not allow me to do have the freedom that I had before of streaming and uh, uploading vids at a quicker pace which I would love to because I got used to the point of doing a lot of content uh, at some point in time not now that is not the case however that does not mean that I will uh, stop at least you know come to a complete halt when it comes to uh, doing coverage or doing uh, gameplay videos or streams or stuff like that so stay tuned for that again i know it sounds like a broken record at this point but that's the current situation for that i apologize but rct is alive and well um, second thing uh, i wanted to say is of course those who are new to the unfiltered uh, series this is basically me uh, talking about uh, a specific topic right off the cuff no scripts no planning no nothing it's just me it could be sometimes a rant, it could be sometimes, you know, good, bad news, it all depends, but it's just me unfiltered, as the name implies, you know, I can, I'm not going to be censoring myself at any uh, kind of way whatsoever, so just, you know, a heads up for those who are tuning in for the first time and just catches these uh, by some freak accident or something, and I start, uh, maybe who knows i'm not guaranteeing i'm gonna start cursing or anything like that but you know just be just be aware of that fact now um what i did want to mention about uh rct kind of being slow or sluggish uh during these past few days or weeks is of course most of the most of the people of my closest friends and families are in puerto rico still and as you guys know uh irma basically passed through there uh around last week and they're still recovering so I, I found it this is my opinion I did not want to go back uh, online doing streaming videos and stuff like that me playing games and stuff when they're over there trying to recover from the storm uh, most of the people without even power at this point so I felt out of respect I did not want to I wanted to slow down things uh, and just wait for them to re recover and then come back with uh, more content that being said also, right after Irma, um, at this point right now, they're uh, preparing again for another storm, which is Maria, at this uh, point in time, which is uh, Sunday, September 17th. So I wish you guys luck. I, I hope that this time around it won't be as strong as, as Irma or that it passes as quick as possible. So Godspeed to all of my peeps over there, my families, and of course, Afro Soul, who I... Uh, I really want to have over on my side as quick as possible, and we are working to have that happen. Okay, I've uh, indulged enough in uh, the stuff that is outside of what I wanted to talk to you guys. One last thing, though. Uh, huge thanks and shout out to Aaron Classic Gamer, who made it over here to where I'm at uh, this uh, past weekend. And we basically were nerding out. Uh, having tons of fun playing games and stuff we did not again we did not cover it with videos or streams stuff like that for the reasons that I just mentioned and some others as well it was more kind of like a get-together the bro thing you know uh, having fun and we played tons of game it was really really fun thanks a lot for that Aaron and uh, yeah this is what gaming is all about is having fun is sharing and and being cool to each other so yeah guys what does what does uh, what brings me here today? Basically, this past week, uh, Nintendo Direct 
uh, came around and it was a, a long time coming because of course we hadn't had one in, in quite a bit uh, the last time that we saw anything in that regard was on the E3 presentation which was kind of direct light um, let me move here to uh, and of course uh, in, in my opinion or at least in, in my uh, regard I wasn't really expecting much I, I, I thought that we were going to get information on the stuff that is going to be coming out during the holiday, holiday seasons and, and stuff like that. Maybe, just maybe, a, a surprise or two in terms of uh, 2018 content and so on. What we did get, none of us, none of us was prepared um, actually for it. Which is one of the reasons why I waited so long to actually give my input in the situation. Because I was waiting for the dust to settle. Because I knew immediately when I was watching the direct that when that thing would get out people were gonna be all over it and there were gonna be a huge like uproar and and people asking questions and commenting and and, and going just batshit crazy so I wanted for the dust to settle before I would give my two cents about the situation now as you guys know I'm a PC gamer I'm a Nintendo gamer I'm a gamer in general uh, the reason why I don't include other platforms as much as I do PC and Switch is not because I hate those platforms, because I don't. Uh, both uh, Sony and Microsoft, I have followed and I have put my money there. I have put my gaming time there since their very inceptions, you know, since their very first platforms came to the market. So the thing is that in this generation however i have not supported uh, their platforms being xbox one and, and playstation 4 because it they were not for me at this stage of the game i can say very confidently that i can pick and choose without having to be influenced with outside sources or outside people or either trolls or people who are telling me you know what i should want to play or not so for the time being uh, those are not platforms for me now this brings us to the switch which I do currently own I did uh, pick up one uh, right at the beginning <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and I have been having tons of fun even with the the haters out there and the doubters and uh, and the people talking how this uh, is another system from Nintendo which is gonna fail I put my face into it and I'm glad that I did because the system has been really awesome for me in, in terms of content, in terms of gameplay. Um, it's just an awesome new system. And I said from the beginning when I saw the developers that were on board at that point of the presentation in the beginning, in the very beginning, that this had the potential. A lot of people were talking about the Switch being we number two in regards of you know sales and how it can catch on and it, how it's, it could be you know on fire and sell and all this i never saw the nintendo switch as being a replacement or a successor to the wii in terms of sales i always saw it as the potential of being a snes 2. now the reason why i say this is because I saw right off the bat that the titles being developed for the system were in different genres that my god for the longest time they haven't they hadn't been around you know they hadn't have a, a, a fertile uh, a place to grow and expand and stuff like that they, these were genres that were basically killed off mostly by the, the, the not only the current but the past generation of consoles and when I when I mention these genres, these genres are shoot 'em ups, uh, beat 'em ups, <clears throat> everything that falls outside of first person shooters, sports, and maybe RPGs. Because yeah, RPGs are being represented, but not in the same capacity as back in the 16-bit era. Now, of course, as every new console that comes out, there's going to be droughts. There's going to be doubts. There's going to be a lot of things going back and forth. There's going to be third parties. Uh, which are going to support day one and there's going to be third parties who are going to you know play uh, sit you know on the fence and wait and see what happens see if it catches on or whatever now i can call out straight up 
who the people who have been waiting on the fans has have been up to this point ea but ea i already i'm already used to having ea just being an asshole and just staying outside they're they're like the kid in the they're like the kid in the in the yard in the schoolyard you know that that they're they they try to be the bully and they try to kind of like be heavy-handed and be you know heavy with words but when it comes to actions they never they never back up you know they they never come forward and actually put the money where their mouth is so i never expected much from ea um another uh which is is kind of trying to be the same thing but to a lesser extent is the the japanese company capcom now there's also ubisoft in a way because even though i have to give it to them they did support the the wii u which was a, a console before the switch um they quickly changed and you know i'm not here to talk about the wii u either a failure or what it did well what it did wrong what it did well whatever i'm here to talk about specifically the nintendo switch how i feel about it at this point if you check my past videos you're gonna see ever since i got the system up to this point it's been you know different experiences it's been really really good and at this point i can say without a shadow of a doubt that i feel that the nintendo switch is is currently right now the snes 2 now i'm gonna explain why in the nintendo direct of course we saw a baby of things uh coming on everything from a 3ds it was like 10 minutes dedicated to the 3ds which is still alive and well and it's going to be that way until the nintendo switch install base grows to a point where it can be alone you know because the 3ds is they have a pretty huge install base and that's money that they're not going to leave on the table so 3ds is going to be there for for a while uh but as we were watching the nintendo direct just out of nowhere out of the blue you know just slipped in there like actually it seemed in a way that they didn't want anybody to see that uh, because of how low-key they just slipped that in there along comes a title that we already i mean there's hundreds at this point videos on youtube talking about this we have doom and we also have of course wolfenstein to the new colossus now this one in particular doom what can i say about this game i mean my god i i did i think i did a stream on on doom i cannot remember or i did a recorded video this was my surprise game of the year last year and i say surprise because even though now at this point a lot of people are talking yeah yeah best of the year yeah yeah this and that but at the point where i picked it up it wasn't seen that way there was a lot of other stuff going on and yes it did receive praise from a certain media outlets and so on and so forth but to me as i picked it up it surprised me because it had this fun element that i hadn't felt in 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 games um coming from multi-plats and stuff like that from the current generation of consoles so it was a uh, breath of fresh air in many ways in in regards to the gameplay and stuff like that because graphically we already expect you know when when a new doom comes around there's always a new id tech there's always new you know graphics and stuff like that so i expected that to be in there but what i didn't expect was the gameplay how fun the damn game was gonna be now all of a sudden this uh graphically intense game which i i got to enjoy in 4k so yeah i i got to basically nerd out with the game and my pc now all of a sudden we're gonna have this game on the switch now a lot of people are gonna be downplaying this this is an issue that i had with a specific person recently as we were exchanging opinions about this you know the impact of of this game on the switch and the person basically uh, you know try to, to come with this uh, uh whole uh cautiously optimistic kind of deal like you know like trying to play it off as it's not a big deal and you know i'm not gonna mention any names or stuff like that you know <coughs> <coughs> outlaws <coughs> relic outlaws <coughs> you know i'm not gonna mention any names but you know the person that's the way it feels 
hey, you know, more power to you. If you want to feel that way, you want to feel that anything that comes good, anything that comes bad, we can talk about and we can say, yeah, yeah, that was going to happen. But when something good comes along, you're going to brush it off as anything but good. Then I'm sorry for you, man. We'll wait. We'll wait a couple of months and maybe you'll change the tune. Like on um, many other stuff. Anyways, because I know he's going to see this and he's going to go like, oh, shit, you did that. Yeah, I did that. I went there. But anyway, I digress. The thing is, this game, the fact that it's running on the Switch is absolutely amazing. It's uh, super good. I mean, uh, of course, lo and behold, after the announcement was done, there was tons of people trying to find and make comparisons and take the videos and everybody wants to be digital foundry now and everybody wants to compare fps and this and that realistically i don't have my expectations so high up as to expect again i played the pc version i don't expect it to be be all end all i'm not expecting it to have one you know one to one ratio in terms of graphics and stuff like that but after seeing 2K18, after seeing what is being done with Skyrim, after seeing what some of these, let's call them brave third-party developers are doing on the Switch, I have no doubt. But that's uh, out of all of the third parties. Oh my God, I cannot, I can't believe this. I mean, I can't. I, I want to pinch myself because I can't believe this. But that's uh, the company who basically denied from the very beginning that Skyrim Skyrim was going to be released on the Switch. They played off the whole thing about having that in the first presentation. All of a sudden, is not only committing to Skyrim, not giving us, a, of course, a vanilla version, but giving us a special edition version because that is the special ver- uh, edition version of Skyrim. Try to play it any w- any way, anywhere um, different than that if that's your problem. That's the special edition. And not only that, we are going to have in the same year, Doom, which is much more graphically intense, is a current generation game. So there's no excuse, you know. Uh, uh, In a way, it makes a lot of sense because Doom uses the Vulcan API, which from the very beginning, it was said that the Switch was going to support Vulcan. That is in itself a huge advantage that the the switch has in terms of development because this is a a a really good api to squeeze power out of different platforms now what i wasn't prepared for that really slapped me in the face was the other title wolfenstein now this is a game that hasn't even come out yet this is a game that has been been touted as being even more a step up in terms of graphics and stuff and it's already being announced you know it maybe later a little later uh then the the rest of the platforms are gonna get it but it's going to be on the platform and we're talking about two first person shooters you know what usually the mainstream and the little <clears throat> haters online like to you know throw at our faces that the switch does not have first person shooter so here we go when you add this to the fact that um, even Rockstar has a title on the first year of the system this is something that cannot be understated this is year one we're not even at the year mark yet and we have a game or we're gonna have a game by the end of the year from Rockstar we're gonna have two games from Bedeza and we're gonna have a bevy of indie titles and and third-party Japanese support plus the amazing first party titles there how can you spin this in a negative way you know there is no way in hell so i'm not gonna sit here and say well you know this is going to be the biggest thing like ever and this is going to sell much more than the wii u or this is going to uh, rival the microsoft and sony's platform i don't give a flying fuck if it does reach those levels in terms of sales what i do care is having a platform that has and and reunites 
all of these missing genres that gives us anything and everything that we could want out of a gaming platform there is always going to be the next platform there's always going to be the next console but i want to feel for the very first time like i'm feeling right now that my money was well invested that i put forward money for a console and i got everything that i could get out of the console and i'm hoping that anybody who's still on the fence on picking one up go right ahead i mean in the beginning i could have told you guys you know wait and see uh, wait till the certain titles are going to be there no 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 i don't have that doubt that anybody who does not have a switch at this point you should go pick one up because you are going to get your money's worth and i have to uh give a huge shout out to Bethesda, which it, it blows my mind because i have been on their case uh many times before but yeah i have to give credit what credit is due but that's a uh, very brave very bold i don't know what are the inner workings or deals that you have had with nintendo to be this way but hey i'm not complaining go right ahead hell i mean if next year if everything is is doing fine bring out fallout as well i'll get it i'll double dip i don't i don't give a fuck i'll buy them because the portability aspect of this system i know a lot of people use it as a as an excuse or as a as a meme basically because that's basically what they gravitate to the nintendo switch has much more many more things that makes it appealing it's not just the portability i use mine basically i say 90 percent as a console not as a portable but i do enjoy having that feature there without having to worry to invest in more money more you know into having that aspect either grafted in there or as a side solution it's right there out of the box so yeah even as i gush with these things i am right in the midst right now of, of trying to finish marion rabbits which is uh, to me another surprise i mean i cannot believe the, the amount of surprise that i'm getting this in the first year of the system i'm hoping and nintendo huge props for following through I don't know what shakeup went in the company, but what you're doing is working. And keep it up. And I hope that you guys, the rest of the third-party developers, uh, I'm, I'm looking at you, Capcom. I'm looking at you, uh, Konami. I don't know what the hell Konami is at this stage, but I'm hoping that somehow there's a Castlevania coming up. Um, but when it comes to Western developers, EA... Uh, Ubisoft, Ubisoft not so much because at least they have Marion Rabbits and they have some things that are going to be coming on later. <clears throat> but EA, Activision, you two have become the poster boys of lazy developers or developers who are just being called out on their bullshit. Granted, I am still hyped for Star Wars Battlefront on November. Hey, EA, this is your chance. I mean, they already handed your ass with uh, these announcements, um, basically destroying any arguments that you could have of uh, the system being difficult to uh, develop for or that you cannot bring your engine or some, some of those old excuses that you usually use not to support the system. So Star Wars Battlefront, you got, you got a chance. You got a chance to make it there, so... Stop with the FIFA crap. Uh, stop with the excuses. Activision, if you don't hurry up and get your Call of Duty, then you know, well, you're gonna lose your, you're gonna lose your chance because there's gonna be so many more games, good games, that go beyond Call of Duty that you're gonna miss your boat. You're gonna miss your train. So that's it, basically, uh, guys. That basically covers what I wanted to talk to you about the Nintendo Direct, the Doom and stuff. But overall, if I had to take everything that I felt during that direct and everything that came afterwards in terms of how the people reacted, and I have to a huge shout out to uh, Player Essence and RGT85 uh, and some other YouTubers who have done an excellent job in covering um, the events concerning uh, these announcements. So you should check their videos as well. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and I will be shortly with you guys soon with another stream. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is coming next Tuesday, so I'll try to have something for you guys then. And I'm, I'm psyched. I'm really psyched. I'm really happy. This has been money well spent. 
this is uh, this is the system that brought Nintendo back. So hopefully you guys will look past the bullshit that you're gonna find online with the haters and you know console white knights or whatever, and enjoy the system for what it is. I have very high hopes that more is gonna be coming and even better. So until then, uh, people over there in Puerto Rico who are getting ready for Maria, Godspeed to you guys. I hope uh, this storm passes really quick, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Take care, guys, and peace.